I'm not telling you. Do, 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 do. What is that from? Do you guys know what that's from? <gasps> it's Glee. Never mind. Never mind. We're all good. Hello booktube and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video. I was tagged years ago by Whitney over Books Are Love X3. Go check her out if you haven't. I will leave her link in the doobly-doo. And I today I am going to be doing the My Life in Books tag and let's just get it started. The first question I'm supposed to answer is to find a book with the first letter of all of my initials and instead of doing my initials I did my name. I don't know if that's what it meant but that's what I'm doing. G. Graceling by Kristen Cashore. A. Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. B. Blood Rose by Andrea Kramer. I. Illegal by Bettina Restrepo. And E. Eleanor on Park by Rainbow Rattle. Next I'm supposed to count along my bookshelf my age and pick out the book that I have. I am 17 years old and I counted along my bookshelf and I got Cruel by Jennifer Albin. I got this for Christmas last year and I still haven't read it. Kind of sad but true in all senses when it comes to a booktuber and I'm still super excited to read it and look at the cover. It is so pretty. I realized like not long ago that there's a face right here. I just thought it was a blurb. No, it's a face. Yeah. Now I'm supposed to pick a book that is set in my city, state, or country. I picked Linger by Maggie Stiefvater. I do not live in Minnesota, but my state is mentioned in this book. And I don't think I'm going to tell you guys which state I live in, but I'm sure some of you can guess. Hmm. Pick a book that represents a destination that you want to travel to. So this is going to be very embarrassing if I'm wrong. But in the movie of Angus Thong's The Perfect Snogging, I think Georgia lives in, like, the UK somewhere. I don't know. So I picked this book. It's going to be really embarrassing if she doesn't. But I think she does. And I want to go to the UK really bad. So, yeah. If I'm so wrong, this is going to be so embarrassing. So very embarrassing. Pick a book that is your favorite color. My favorite color is purple. I absolutely positively love purple and I really like dark purples more like the sultry dark plum purples and this is a really really pretty purple and this book is The Girl Who Fell Beneath Fairyland and Led the Rebels There by Catherine and Belen Belen Belante. and I haven't read this book yet. Go figure story of my life. But I want to read it soon because this cover is so pretty. What is a book that you have the most fondest memories of? I'm cheating by going children's with it because this is my favorite children's book. I read it so many times when I was little I could probably recite it. Well not right now because I haven't read it in so long but Corduroy was the one book that every single night my mom would be like Gabby what book do you want to read? I'd just be like and I'm pretty sure she got sick and tired of reading this, but I don't care because it is a magical book. Read it to your children. Read it for yourself. Read it to your puppies. Read it to everything. Everything. Which book did you have the most difficulty reading? I chose Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I'm sure I have other books on there, but this was the first one that caught my eye. I really just have a hard time with classics, and I think I'm going to do a discussion about how I don't necessarily like classics. Um, I don't want to go into it too much, but I just feel like I don't understand a lot of it. And I'm not saying that classics are bad, but I just, no, I don't know how to explain it because I think they're very valuable and I do enjoy reading their stories, but I just don't feel like anyone who reads only classics is more superior to someone who reads young adult. I think I'm going to stop with the discussion there before I go into complete discussion video. And this is a tag, so no, we're not going there. And last but not least, which book is the one that will give you the biggest accomplishment when you finish it. That would be Harry Potter and the... Harry Potter? Oh my gosh. I can't speak today. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I can read that for a second. This book is a monster. It is... How many pages? It's huge. It is 870 pages long. 
it is about like the size of I don't know I was gonna say my head but I think it's bigger than my head hopefully it's bigger than my head I can't tell that is all I have for you guys today thank you for watching another video I hope you all have a wonderful fantastic booktastic day and I will see you in my next video